Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odor. <clears throat> we are back in our campaign of Pathfinder: Wrath of the Realm of the Righteous. Wrath of the Realm. <laughs> um, last time we um, found the storyteller who uh, talked without end, and I was so tired. I went to bed afterwards, but now I am rather not tired, <laughs> and uh, I was walking to the ancient trees and wonders shop. <clears throat> uh, this is the place where um, where the stuff was stolen that the uh, um, the mafia wants back. Don't know. So we just came there and we are just running around there. Let's see if we live. Well, if we will find some really bad stuff. Hey, it's a glass weapon scroll. That's nice. Okay, what's that? Please get me out. Wait, what? The polished oak shelf once showcased. I can hear your footsteps. Pull me out. Hello? Okay. Let's do this first. Ah. Finian the talking weapon. Ah. I heard about that from my friends. You free at last. I thought I'd be flattened like a and cake under that rubble. Much enriched. Damn, I'm not not in any damn I'm not in any pain, but my head is still foggy for some reason. What's with all the hubbub in the city? Name's Finian. I'm a pathfinder. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. You're a pathfinder. That's right. Finian Dismar. Pathfinder and Crusader, I roam around the world wounds wherever my tasks lead me. Scouting mostly, but this last while I've just been hanging around in Canabras waiting until I'm needed again. I'm bored out of my mind, but at least this shop makes for better lodging than some inn. Okay. What I mean was, what are you? What's that supposed to mean? I just told you. You want to know where I hail from? Is that it? Well, I'm from around here, actually. We cadets of the Star Eye can't plan lead when the world wound troubles again. But I couldn't stand by what couldn't stand by while the demons wrecked havoc, so I came back. Or did you mean to ask about my weapon of choice? My best weapon is every weapon. I'm a skilled and capable fellow, if I do say so myself. I can swing a sword and poke with a spear, but what I'm best at is communing with the spirits. They call folks like me Phantom Blades. A uh, Phantom Blade? What's that? It's like a spiritualist, but with a twist means that some spirit took a liking to me at some point and it can turn into whatever weapon I need. Handy, huh? I don't need any whetstones or enchantments. Doesn't take up space either. Although, to be fair, it's not a barrel of laughs. The spirits that bestow this kind of power don't come from happy places and they are not exactly bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. They usually appear after great battles that leave few survivors. The city is under attack by demons, so he thinks he's not a sword. Or a weapon. Let's, let's do it like that. The city is under attack by the demons. Wait, what? The last thing I saw was some thieves breaking in here. Ah! Then the guards came, everyone was running around. After that, it's a bit of a blur. Right when things got intense, they dropped the cabinet on me. 
I couldn't even help the owner. I was just lying under the shelves like a dim with until you came along. Okay. If there are demons in Canabras, we must do something about it. The city needs every blade it can get. Hey, do you mind taking me with you? I don't think I can handle this alone, and besides, the more the merrier. Okay. Alright, I'll take you with me. It's a weapon after all. I swear you won't regret it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will. I can do all sorts of things. Is there anything your party is missing? A sword? A spear? A bow? Just say the word. Finny and the talking weapon. Ah, he can become a crossbow then. Also, could it be? Inventory. Weapons. He's not with the weapons. Interesting. With the usables. Where is he? Not here either. Ingredients. Ne. Nah. Accessories. Interesting. But no. Yeah, let's let's take this screen as well. Armor. Weapons. Okay. Ah Finian, there he is. <laughs> Start dialogue. Let's start the dialogue. Hail to the adventurers. You know, I've never regretted following you. Everyone seems to revolve around you like beavers in a mill wheel. <laughs> I have a lot to write in my report to the Pathfinder Society. Although finding about it, it's been a while since I last sent them any report. It's annoying. You're weapon of a new. I want to talk about you. Weapon? What kind of sword is this? What kind of question is that? I mean, sure, the clerics keep going on about every crusader being a weapon of Iomide, but I don't speak of myself in fancy words like that. I'm just a lad with two arms, two legs, and more fractals than I'd like. I choose where to go and who to fight for. I don't want to be someone's weapon. You, sh you hear? Aridan is dead. Now everybody decides their own fate. I've always wanted to be one, ever since I was a kid. I remember I'd go out to the edge of the village at sunset and then just keep walking until I got tired or someone dragged me back by my ear. It was like something was drawing me away from home. My clan wasn't the nomadic kind. Before the wound opened, the idea of traveling anywhere would never have crossed the mind of many in the clan. They were content with their community on their, or their patch of land. But I had always wanted to see what lay beyond that bend in the road over that familiar hill beyond the horizon. My father, he wanted to teach me to be a shaman, a shaman or shaman. I mean, in German it's shamane, so it's, it's rather strange for me to say shaman, although um, Camilla told us that she was a shaman in her voice. But as soon as I came of age, I was off looking for the Pathfinder Society, and I found it in Is. After three weeks of travel on foot, I passed the trials, and they accepted me. My father hasn't spoken to me since, but that's all right. Once he hears of my great deeds, he'll come around someday. Interesting. He doesn't know that he's a weapon. All I wanted was to rush off to some far away land and find a treasure trove no one else had discovered yet. But I knew I had a duty to Sarkoris. When the wound opened, the demons and the havoc, in the end, I never went anywhere. 
probably he's helping us when we try to find the um the mongrel who stole the stuff. But as soon as things calm down, I'm setting off to explore Aslanta. Aslan. I've already decided. Great ancient ruins, that's my kind of life. Being surrounded by the wreckage here is depressing, as I'm sure you know. Anything from before you ended up in Kinabras? I mean, a lot of things happened. I remember how happy everyone was when the wardstone was placed in... Ah, he's here since the wardstone uh, was placed in Kinabras. That was some celebration. So he must be rather old. And I remember when the cultists took me, cut down my whole party and dragged me to their ringleader. Don't know his name. Everyone just called him the bladesmith. But after that, my memory is all fussy. For some reason, he didn't sacrifice me or anything, just knocked me around, said he'd been looking for a phantom blade for a long time. I don't remember why. How I escaped, what I did, I can't remember that either. Some crusader picked me up in the wound, brought me to Cana brought to Canabras, and that's where I stayed, licking my wounds. Maybe there was a mix-up, and now they think I'm dead. Why else could none of them contact me this whole time? Hmm. The Wardstone, you say? What you're describing happened decades ago. That's rich. Next you're going to tell me I've been sleeping for decades. Last year that that was. Well, maybe the year before last. I couldn't have been wandering the room that long. I would have been either dead or an old geezer by now. Nah, quit messing with me. You have a fox's sense of humor, my friend. You hear a chuckle in Finian's voice. Thought you'd play a joke on me. I have never met any fox folk before, but now I'll know to be on my guard around your kin. <laughs> Finian, you need to understand you're not a human anymore. I don't think that we should. Are you still able to commune with spirits? Maybe I can, only they don't want to answer me. I'm still a spiritualist. A phantom blade. My power is within me, but I have this feeling like I'm separated from the spirit world by some kind of transparent wall. I keep knocking, but no one can hear me. I think Finian forces a chuckle. Yes, all the bladesmiths torture did a number on me. He broke something inside. Yeah, well, he broke you. <laughs> and you changed into your weapon, probably. <laughs> Uh, no, we don't want to find out the part of the Pathfinder Society. And that is all for now. I should get going. Okay, there was something else when we click him. Ah, yes, we can make him into some other thing. Like, a, can we make him into a great a heavy crossbow? Yes, we can. Finian and the talking weapon, 1d10 plus 1, and you are doing 1 to 10, he's a plus 1 weapon, that's better than, and he's cold iron ghost touch, yay! You're a great Finian. You're my weapon now. Back to the stash. Yeah. Okay. Back to looking around. Hmm, a demonic heart. That's, that's collected. Some scrolls have been torn apart and some have been trapped by the muddy boots.
Yep. Ooh, a pipe fork. Summons a pipe fork familiar. Pipe fork provides plus three insight bonus on knowledge arcane and plus two insight bonus on perception skill checks. Ooh, fancy. What's this? The formerly well appointed shop now looks a sorry state. Has been completely ransacked. Lying in the corner next to the scored wall are the suit covered shards of a clay golem head. The golem's eyes glow in the gloom. Master Cold World. <coughs> uh, we got the code. Kind of eerie. Was it that? Waiting orders. Yeah. I know that we got it, but the last time I played was some time ago. <coughs> Is this the head? Probably. <clears throat> Tell me about any... No. Let's ask him where he came from. This golem was created by Catherine and Son and Son. Address, third building on the right. Shulas Ali Nero Sane Mendef. Model Chief 504 ENE. -E, which stands for Experimental and Enhanced. For all inquiries, contact Mr. Catherine. Tell me about any suspicious people who came to the shop in the last week. 56 individuals entered the shop. Human, female, old. No male, old. Human, female. He'll be reading off customers till nightfall. We need to ask in a different way. Tieflings. Tieflings, three. Tiefling male, middle-aged. Tiefling male, young. Tiefling female, young. The young male tiefling. Medium height, short horns, curling backwards. Medium length tail, eye color, yellow. Hair color, black. Special observations, annoyed master. Horns, hair, tail. That sounds like me, but it's not possible. I know what the security is like here. I didn't come near the place. I give you my word, Chief. No special observation. Subject was unremarkable. Does he? Can't have been me. <laughs> Middle-aged male tiefling. Medium height, long horns. Medium length tail, eye color pale blue, skin color dark, special observations red hair. Okay. Oh, that's our traitor. I'd bet your life on it. Carrie Smy drilled it into our heads that we he, we wasn't to go hanging about the shop. Hmm. Red hair. We've got a couple of fingers and plenty more to get it out of a bottle. So much for a special observation. Golems ain't all they're cracked up to be, eh? Maybe it's master's master knows more. Maybe it's master knows more. So describe the female tiefling. Tiefling female. Above average height. Hair long pale. Tail not observed. Long horns. Ah, also long horns. Eye color blue. Special observations, scar on nose, baldric with gold stitching. Hmm, I don't know that one. A new arrival, most likely. Gold stitching, eh? Wouldn't mind getting to know her a little better. Where is your master? Cinnamon. Froliatros, my master, is in his hiding place. Revealing the location of the hiding place is prohibited. 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 He likely holds himself up in the basement when the commotion started. The entrance should be around here somewhere. Where is the basement in this place? 
The basement is below me. I guard the basement. Leaving my post is prohibited. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. He's standing on the entrance to the... So let's see, what do we have here? Unique weapons and antique armor were previously displayed on these stands. The polished oak shelf once showcased magic rings and amulets. Now all that's left are the grubby handprints of the robbers. I know the way. Okay, oh, there's something. Let's do it. It's a golden ring. Yay. Okay, let's move there. To the basement. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Ooh, there is another point. Pick the lock. Stuff. I found him. He's a gnome, I believe. The elderly gnome, gnome, so portly as to be nearly spherical, <laughs> is curled up in the corner of the basement shaking. The rotors stand its scavengers. And a very good day to you as well, my dear. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. You're all of those things, and much, much more. Before you report us to the authorities, mind if we have a chat? Ah, oh, come on. Good and evil? Please calm down. No one's going to rob you. Shut it up. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, we'll take the, the middle ground. <laughs> My name's Philemon Fulit Atros. I was the owner of this shop. I'm not sure I can claim to be the owner of anything now. I hope there's at least something left of it. Uh, not if I'm done with it. Oh, come off it. Your shop's fine. It's a bit ransacked, maybe. But nothing a bit of spit and polish can't fix. Where were you the night of the robbery? Do you think I robbed my own shop? I was here in the basement. I was told to make it look like I'd left. The watch was very keen to get their hands on those tieflings. Thieflings. <laughs> Not tieflings, tieflings. Uh, they seemed to be multiplying all over Galarian. So, of course, I did everything they said. And I've been stuck in this basement since. The golem wouldn't move away from the door, no matter how much I yelled at it. But then I thought that it was all to the good. Somebody came by after the guards and caused a ruckus upstairs, bedowing like mad, taking advantage of my absence. Tell me about the tea things that have visited ancient hidden wonders recently. Why, should I tell you anything about my customers? You're not from the city guard or the eagle watch. Chief, if he keeps digging his heels in, just say the word. I know how to loosen his tongue. Ralph, I'm helping the eagle watch to catch the culprits. It's in your interest to tell me everything. So, a plus 16, the oracle is good in bluff. Also in intimidate. Yeah, let's do the plot. We are... I mean, it's not good or bad, but anyway, we had... So, they haven't got the thieflings. I thought the city's finest were on the job and date. No size. You can't rely on anyone. Ask your questions, then, if it's so important. Old Chief Jeff too, right? Yes, I've known him a long time. 
So I'd rather not know him at all. He's been skulking around my shop for years, treating the place like a free museum. He always wanted to look at the moon of the abyss. I'd chase him out, but he'd just slink back in again. If he was with the gang that robbed my shop, I'll be anything. I'll bet anything he swiped the moon. <laughs> How come I'm the prime suspect? Whoever betrayed us all, that's the one who's got the moon. I want to see it return too. You get me? I don't like the idea of other people grabbing mitts on it. Everyone falls to thinking, red-haired tiefling? I suppose, yes. There was one who came in, spent a long time looking around. He was a person of modest means. I could tell by his clothes, but he asked me to show him an Azimar made chain mail. He certainly couldn't afford it. That's when I suspected that something was wrong. I checked everything after he left, but nothing was missing. And that put my mind at ease. Ah, come on. I can't remember what he looked like. I didn't get a good look at his face. All I remember is that he was wrapped in a green cloak like he was freezing. But that's all I have. That's it. With that description, we'll surely sniff him out. Come on, Chief. Back to Sister Carrie's my. We go to have a lo good, look long shifty at all my brothers and got all these clues together. Something tells me our traitor isn't gonna wiggle out of this. Tell me about the tiefling woman. A tiefling woman? Ah yes, I remember now. Noble lady, unlike the tiefling ruffians we have around here, she purchased magical equipment for the crusade and she promised to come again. If only all tieflings were like that, I'd be laughing all the way to the bank. Why should we attack him? I mean, it's it's not even evil. <laughs> if that isn't enough to help you catch the thieves, then I don't know what else to tell you. Now, be on your way. And leave me in place with my wreck of a shop. Yep. Anything else we can wreck? No. It's possible to get upstairs again. Thanks for nothing. I mean, okay, we've got this. Um, This thing here, a pipe fox. Plus three inside bonus on knowledge arcane and plus two inside bonus on perception skill. We have a plus one on knowledge arcana, so we should give it to the guy who has the best knowledge. Like him? Yeah, probably her. But she doesn't have perception. Yeah, uh, he as well. I'm not sure whom of these two I will bring more often. Let's give it to her. I like her more. What's that? Molten orb? Yeah. And, um, bless weapon. Nee.
No, she's not a uh, coarse feet guy. Oh, there he is. It's my pipe fox. So now we have a pipe fox and a cat. What does the cat do? It's a tiger. Interesting. Someone's a pet cat. Cat's feral instincts provide plus two moral bonus on perception and law nature. Yeah, that's good. Let's see how many more animals we'll get. Okay, I think that's it for today. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Let's move out. Let's just think what we are doing next. Probably we'll go to the Mafia guys. I'm not sure. This is not the one who is um, responsible for the Pitaxian wine cellar. Oh, interesting. We have to go around there. Let's go there next. Let's travel. Okay. Until then, my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.